Now, the federal government is considering abolishing the Almagiri system of education practice in the northern part of the country. The National Security Advisor, Mr. Babagana Mongono, uh, made the announcement at the end of the National Executive Council meeting at the presidential villa in Abuja on Thursday. The NSA said that the decision follows the president's directive that government at all levels must ensure free and compulsory education and that the government will uh, have to stop the Almagiri education system because, according to uh, the NSA, the Almagiri group had become a problem to the society, adding that the education is very important to every child. So what say you? Tweet at me at K-A-Y Alani using the hashtag State of the Nation to join the conversation. Uh, but here on the program, we have joining us from our Abuja studio, Mr. Biodun Adeniyi. He's a lecturer of mass communication at the Bayes University in Abuja. Thank you very much, Mr. Adeniyi, for joining us at this time. Yeah, that's fine, Kaudi. Good evening, viewers. Thank you very much. Uh, all right, let's begin this way. How do you consider the new decision by the federal government to, to scrap the Almagiri uh, system of education? Yeah, very well, Kaudi. I think it's a very good development. Um, it's a development that should have come like many years ago because uh, it has become a scourge, really. You know, but what the government is yet to tell us is what it, what it is that they want to deal with. Because the substance of Alimajiri is not the problem, actually. The substance is Islamic education. And Islamic education is like any kind of uh, education. It's like the regular Western education. It can as well be like the Christian education or the Judaic education, if you want. And any form of education is actually okay. What I think the government wants to deal with is the form it has taken. You know, the fact that it has gravitated into arms begging and, mini and having them to do minor jobs and eventually um, becoming a problem in itself because arms begging, doing minor jobs are actually problems for the society. And these jobs are in any case not available. And when they are not available, the kids become very hopeless, they become very hapless, and it leads to deprivation which eventually leads to crime. You know, they eventually populate the crime and criminality uh, population of a country. So what the government should be concerned about really is this, the form it has taken, the fact that it has led to arms begging, you know, and it has led to um, people wanting to do many jobs that are not available. You know, it speaks largely again um, to, the, to our kind of economy, the fact that economy is problematic, the fact that there's poverty in the land, because al Majri itself, uh, leading to arms begging means, means that there's poverty in the land and people will have to survive. The concept is original, the concept is salutary because it's about a form of education. But government should be commended in the first instance anyway for having the courage to deal with these menaces. It's okay that they are dealing with it and it is salutary that they've decided to take these alumajiri bull by the horn once and for all. They say that there is no vacuum in life. If you're going to scrap this, then you must have something not just attractive, but something strong to replace it with. And we also understand the concept of social resistance for something like this that has been, uh, that's been an age-long practice. Do you see some resistance to, to the federal government's um, action? Yeah, very well. If you recall the history of al itself, it's not really new to us. It started from our days in the empires, when we had the Kanem Boronu Empire and all of that northern empires, other empires in the northern part of the country. You know, it's a concept around educating youths in a, in, in, through uh, the Islamic education type. You know, and this is okay, like I said earlier. You know, but in those days, you know, we had emirs, we had parents, we had malams who were well educated, who were taking care of these kids growing up. But eventually we'll have uh, the British um, colonialists coming in and dealing a blow to this form of education. They privileged the Western education over mm -hmm. the Islamic education. So it created a, a problem, you know, for the malams who were now responsible for these kids. They couldn't take care of them economically and the only option they had in their, uh, in their hands was to let, uh, release them onto the streets to go and beg. 
and it became a problem eventually for the system and the society couldn't deal with it leading to the kind of problem we are having today so if we want to deal with it like i said the government is here to give give us the details i'm sure they will work out the details eventually they will have to deal with it through institutions it is the absence of institutions to take care of these children that is causing this problem yes you will deal with arms begging you will deal with resource to minimum job you know as the Almagiris are characterized with, but you have to res resolve their problem, resolve their plight through the regular kind of institutions that we have. Yes, Islamic education is central to it, but you have to structure it to come through the regular institutions that we have, then the problems can be solved. Then government will also have to be more responsive in terms of funding the schools, because if you're going to um, absorb the Almagiri children in dealing with them, of course it means that more infrastructures will be needed, more utilities will be needed, government will have to be much more responsive but I think by the time they think through these things properly, I will know the direction they want to take. But like I said, let's not forget, there's nothing wrong with the substance. It's just the form that it has taken, which I think government will eventually need to deal with. Coyote. All right. Uh, Mr. Deni, you, you know that the uh, Marjorie government has tried several ways, several times to see a way they can uh, adjust things with, with the uh, Almagiri system of education by trying to adapt it to our formal education, but this hasn't worked for obvious reasons of insufficient funding, inadequate infrastructural facilities, poor planning. And, uh, and we see these things happen with a lot of government uh, effort, you know, in, in Nigeria. How would you advise the government such that we, we don't see this fall apart? Yeah, kind of in the past, I think under the Jonathan administration, Almagiri schools uh, were created or attempts were made, you know, to train the Malams, you know, who will eventually prepare these children for later life. You know, but these attempts appear to be knee-jack, appear to be episodic eventually, and it, it just died like that. And of course, the problem um, uh, continued. We have nearly 10 million, an estimated 10 million of these people on the streets, you know. But other than dealing with the, the children, as it were, other than creating structures through educational institutions, perhaps we need to also think about an, edu an educational, I mean, a population policy eventually to deal with this. But this may be mm. a discussion for another day. But what is important is for government to fund the educational institutions properly, you know, from, from the basic elementary level to the secondary school and eventually to the university, because these are the institutions that will eventually absorb um, these children. It is important to say that you know you cannot create a situation where a section, a critical section of the citizenry, will feel hopeless and helpless when that situation comes in. It leads to deprivation, and when they feel hopeless and helpless, the eventual thing they will think about in the future is crime. That's why I said it's okay. Government should be commended, you know, for having the courage to deal with this problem once and for all. You know, but in dealing with it, we have to be institutional. We have to be. We have to think deeply. Okay, so that it will not be a knee jack one, it won't be episodic like it has happened in the past. It's not a big deal, it's something that we can work out, it's something that they, that they can do. At least, at least in the past, they've tried to solve other kind of problems. There should be short term solutions to it, you know, and as well, and long term solutions as well. You know, all, if all these things are brought together, you know, within a, a perspective, I think I will be able to get um, a, a, a good result at the end of the day, Coyote. Mr. Biodon Adeni, thank you so much for your fantastic perspectives to this issue. Thank you for joining the program, State of the Nation. Uh, we appreciate your coming. And that's the show tonight on the program, State of the Nation. Thank you very much for sharing your time with us. But let's continue the conversation online. You can tweet at me at K-A-Y I'd like to know what you think about these issues that we've dealt with on the program today. And also use the hashtag State of the Nation. I'm Kaede Alayade. Thank you for watching. Bye now.